Agha morning students and welcome to another fun and exciting day to learn science. Today, our most essential learning competency is determine all the possible combinations of genes for a specific blood type. It is on pages 22 up to 23 of your learning modules. To begin, let us wake up first what we have learned last time. Genetics is the scientific study of transmission of traits and its variation. It is a key for us to understand why we acquire and do not acquire such traits from our parents. It was pioneered by Gregor Mendel, an Austrian monk which is famous for his breakthrough and experiment in pea plant that proves the transmission of genes and traits from parents down to their offspring on each generation. We also define the following terms like dominant or dominant traits, which is a strong trait that is usually expressed by an organism. We usually write it with a capital letter like this one. If there is a strong trait, there is also a weak trait called recessive. It does not express unless partnered with another recessive trait. We write recessive trait in this way. Homozygous is a characteristic of an allele. When we say homozygous, it pertains that the allele is written on the same manner. If the first letter is capital letter, the following letter should be a capital Z. On the other hand, if the first letter is in small letter, the second letter should be in a small letter as well. For you to have the idea, here is an example. Heterozygous, in contrast, is a combination of both capital and small letter. But, remember, if there is a presence of a capital letter, it only pertains that the trait is dominant. Genotype and phenotype okay, are almost the same, but their slight difference is Genotype refers to the genetic code, while phenotype refers to the physical characteristic given by the genetic code. We also learned last time the way of solving genetic problems under incomplete dominance and codominance. But what are the differences of the two? Hmm. When we say incomplete dominance, it is a mixing of acquired traits that leads to creation of another form of traits. In the case of codominance, instead of mixing, here in codominance, both traits are seen or expressed at the same time. Let us try to solve some problems under incomplete and codominance. Problem number one. Last time, or last month, I tried to breed my red gumamela flower with white gumamela flower. Because I was wondering which of which is dominant in terms of color. To my surprise, I got a pink gumamela flower. Is it possible to obtain a different trait from its parents? Because red, white, pink. In genetics, it is an example of incomplete dominance. So for we to solve the mystery, we need an allele. We will represent our allele as two capital R for red and another two capital W as white. 
Afterwards, we will separate and combine the alleles from each parent. What do we have now? A different trait compared to its parents. Focusing on the idea given by the result, we have 4, capital R, capital W is to 0 for our GR or genotypic ratio. And 4, pink is to 0 for our PR or phenotypic ratio. Why do we have pink? Again, in this case, called incomplete dominance, we do not have a true dominant trait. Therefore, the traits from parents are being mixed to form another kind of characteristics. Short, red plus white is equal to pink. How about this problem? This problem, hmm, it is tricky. Let's find out. First, let us determine the alleles. What are our alleles? Do you have any ideas? Okay, let us try this. This is our allele. Does our allele correct? Or our does our alleles are correct? Hmm. What do you think? Very good. Since we have pink traits, let us replace this by this one. Then, let us place this data on our Punnett square. Can you guess our GR and PR? Excellent! Our GR and PR are this one. Okay? Did you get it now? Another example is this one. Try to analyze the problem. Now, let us try to solve it. First, we need an alleles. And our alleles are solving it on a Punnett square will give us this data. Formulating our GR and PR now is easy because we have now a GR and PR of what? Excellent! We have this GR and PR. Easy, right? Now, let us go now with another kind of non-Mendelian genetics called multiple alleles. So what is a multiple alleles? For us to understand clearly, what multiple allele is, let us play a game, which is called a student detective. I know everybody is much familiar with this game or the task of a detective. Our task is to solve a mystery case within this family. Ned is a blood type A. He marries Caitlin, a blood type B. They have four children, namely Rob, a blood type A, Sansa, a blood type B, same with her mother, Arya, a blood type AB, a combination of her parents' blood type, and Bron, a blood type O. Wait, a blood type O between a parent of A and B? Hmm. Is it still possible? Thus, Bron is illegitimate child. Well, according to story given by Ned and Caitlin, their parents, all of them are legitimate child. So, maybe genetics can help this thing. Or genetics can help us to solve this thing. As I mentioned a while ago, Multiple allele is a pattern of inheritance where gene is controlled by more than two alleles. 
and a good example of it is our blood side. Before we start solving this case, we need to figure out how can we solve it by knowing what are the characteristics of each blood side. Blood side A have homozygous and heterozygous feature that looks like this. Blood side B have this one. Blood side AB has homozygous feature that looks like this. AB is well known as universal acceptor because in blood donation, blood type AB can accept A, B, and O. Also, AB doesn't have heterozygous feature, same as blood type O, which is universal donor because blood type O can give or donate in any blood type like A, B, AB, and O as well. We need to become familiar with the features of each blood type for us to solve this mystery. Now, let us give a try, trial, trial one. Okay? Suppose both parents are homozygous. What are the alleles? Very good. It should look like this. Since we have an idea on what will be the next step after finding out what are the alleles, we will have this result. Think. Is it correct? Perhaps. But it is a big no. Why? Because we only obtain a blood type, AB, which is blood type of Arya. Let us try now our trial 2. Can you determine what are the alleles? Comment now. Very good. We have this or this one as our alleles. Now, solve it on your notebooks. What will be the end result? What blood type or blood types can we acquire? Or is trial 2 the key for this day's mystery case? Try it. Solve it on your notebooks. You can do it. Are you done? Let's check. With this case, we obtain two different blood types, which are AB and B. Clearly states that Arya and Sansa are their true child. But our goal is prove that those four children are legitimate child. Meaning, trial 2 is not the answer we need. Now for trial 3. Homozygous father and heterozygous mother. What are our alleles? Can you guess it? Key in on the comment box. Very good. We have this one. And the end result will be this one. But the question is, who owns those blood sites? What do you think? Excellent! They are from Arya and Rob. But still, we need to focus on our goal. Okay? Our goal is to prove those four children are legitimate child. Let us try now our trial four. Both parents are heterozygous. Can you guess their alleles? 
How about the end result? Try to solve it on your notebooks. You can do it. I know you can do it. You can solve this mystery by your own. Because every Valenzuelano student are smart. Are you done? Let us check. Our alleles will be this one. Putting it on a pounded square will give us an idea that we acquire, finally, we acquire four different blood types, which may be the key for us to solve our case. This blood type belongs to Rob. This one is from Arya. This is simply Sansa. While the other one is Bran, which make or makes our case clear and solved. It is still possible to acquire blood type O, even the parents are A and B. Let us try now if you understand the lesson by answering the following. You have 15 seconds type on the comment section your best answers. Ready? Let's begin. Question number one. What are the possible blood types? of an offspring given by a parent which has heterozygous A and O respectively. 15 seconds. Hurry! Key in your answers now on the comment section. Time up! If you answered A and O, very good. Now, for question 2, which of the following non Mendelian inheritance best suit this image? 15 seconds. Hurry! I know every student here in Valenzuela is smart. Time up! If you choose incomplete dominance, you have a very good memory. For question 3, our cue is this, which simply leads us to Hurry! You still have time. Time up. If you choose codominance over the three choices or over all other choices, you get it right. For question number four, our cue is this one, which tells us blank. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time up. If you choose incomplete dominance, I bet you will get a perfect for your quizzes in this topic. And for the last question, question number five. Here is a situation. Pill met a car accident and needed blood donation. He has three relatives, which his mom is blood type B, his sister is blood type O, while his brother is blood type AB. When the blood test came out, the doctor said that Phil is blood type A and that his mother can't donate blood to Phil. Why Phil's mother can't donate her blood? Hmm, this is a tricky one. But the answer is here in this image. As you can see, 
Blood type A have antigen A. Blood type B have antigen B. Blood type AB have both AB or other antigen A and antigen B. But in the case of blood type O, blood type O do not contain antigens. That's why Phil needs the same blood type as him. Okay? So, aside from those relatives or aside from the mother, who do you think can donate a blood to Phil? Key in on the comment section. Very good. It is his sister, which is same as a blood site to here, which is a blood site A. Now, grab your pen and paper and copy the following questions. Or take a screenshot for this additional task together with the activities on page 23 on your module. For now, let us have our Q&A. Maybe 15 seconds is enough for you to ask and comment your queries. Hurry! Comment now. As many questions as you have. Still have time to key in your question. Up. Let us have this one. We have a family cat with a multicolored fur. Is that codominance or incomplete dominance? Well, in this case, the cat expresses both traits that give us the idea that this is a codominance inheritance. Another question. 15 seconds for you to key in your question. Time is running. Key in your question now. Okay, so let us have this one. Is it still possible to have a blood type O? If my parents are both blood type A? Well, the answer is yes. Don't worry. You are a legitimate child. If both parents are heterozygous in their blood traits. Okay, so let us have question number three. Time is running. You can comment your question for you to be clear. Or for you to be clear on this topic. Okay, I guess we have now a question. For the last question for this day. Does codominance is only for animals and same as incomplete dominance, which is for plants only? Well, the answer is no. Because there are some animals that possesses or undergoes incomplete dominance, like birds or some other mammals like rabbit. And also, there are some flowers that produces two colors at the same time, like camellia flowers. Did you get the lesson for this day? Did you learn something? Let us know in the comment section. Share your insights or what you have learned this day with hashtag Aghammasayang Matuto and hashtag Genetics is easy. We are very happy to read about it. I hope you've learned a lot this day. Till next time, 